Yo, what's up, Blackish fam? It's your boy, B. I uh, hope the year is off to a good start for everyone. Thanks for returning to the channel. Uh, man, don't forget to, to, to like and subscribe if you're a fan of good music. Uh, we try to break it down lyrically. Uh, yo, we're going to continue checking out Toby Nguigwe. Uh I have not heard anything that has been off. Right, everything with this cat has been just on fire, just getting, uh, getting you standing up, making you want to move, uh, sharing the thought leadership. Like it's, it's been great. It's actually been fun breaking down the meanings uh, to what he's saying. And you know, a lot of it is deep, uh, much deeper than just the surface level. Uh, but yo, know, without further ado, let's get right to it. This is Spice featuring Spice Adam. Said, I'm not an icon. I'm, I'm a, he's basically, he said hyphen, but he's saying like hyphen. Uh, what does that mean? It connects two things, right? He said, I'm an elf, uh, hyphen between Jah and the ghetto, uh, probably referred to as Yahweh, right? Uh, Jesus or that higher power, supreme being. But I connect that in the ghetto. Bro, just a sick way of putting it, just right from the start. Just, man, I love that about Toby. Like, we know what to expect. Uh, he has not let uh, let me down since I've been checking out his music. I'm a high find between Jot and the ghetto. No commiss, no power, no co widow, Ooh. touch fed, man. Man, I would just want to let it ride, but uh, he said uh, I'm an alchemist, right? What does alchemy mean? Or al Alchemist is somebody who can create something out of nothing. Uh, they're normally known for being magical, right? Like it's magic how I made this. Like I got here, it might look like magic because you didn't see all the hard work. Um, but there's also a book called The Alchemist. Uh, the author is uh, Paulo, uh, Paula Coelho, uh, the, who he referenced, um, which is a book, uh, uh, really interesting. It's about different perspectives, right? Uh, people looking at things from different perspectives, uh, if you would. I haven't read the book, but actually I've read a few reviews about the book. I understand, like, I got the gist of it. <laughs> Let's bring it back. No, no, no. I am not an icon. I'm a high find between Jot and the ghetto. Alchemist, no power, local widow, touch fat, my hammer, pow, pow, and the halo will be added unto the top of your dome. <laughs> Yo, he said you touch fat, right? That's his wife. Is the, uh, she's a really attractive, but she's also his partner on a lot of these, right? And she raps too. Um, but he's like, yo, you touch fat. Uh, boom, boom, right? That's the end of your life, bro. I hope you like the halo if that's where you're going because you're going to wear it forever, right? Uh, he said, I'll put that on top of your dome, bro, right? I'll put that right up on top of your head. Run that back. Don't touch his wife, Run right? To the top of your dome, sorry. But I got love for fat like the OG from RC got for B. I got to be the best thing to pop out the swat or possibly the next king with the cult of Socrates complete with pocket and punch. Oh, thing called FOMO, it's the fear of missing out. And with Toby, like, yo, I don't want to miss any of the lyrics. Like, I just see right here, he said, like the OG from Marcy. I'm like, OG from Marcy? Man, remember that, I don't even know dude's name, but he got injured himself in that bad accident. He was in the Sprinter van, the black dude, comedian. Uh, he got, there was a, a show, I think it was cut off pretty quick, called The Last OG. And he was like, he went to prison when, uh, there were still rules to the game and stuff. He comes out and people are moving like this. And he's just like, what? It's actually called The Last OG. Uh, what the hell is this dude's name, though? Um, but uh, from Marcy, that was Marcy Community Courts. Uh, that's where the, the area where he was from. Yo, sick with it, but I can see that. That could easily go over someone's head. Be added unto the top of yo dome, sorry. But I got love for fat like the OG from Marcy. It got to be. I got to be the best thing to pop out the swat or possibly the next king with the thoughts of Socrates complete with pocket. Socrates was a thought leader. I mean, he was so much more. 
I mean, you can Google and uh, and uh, learn more about Socrates and Plato and these very intellectual leaders um, uh, of yesteryear, right? Uh, but yo, he's also referencing Pac and Pun. Socrates complete with Pac and Pun and a large degree of. Well, to do spitters, careful they hell who blitters, oh, as soon as veils with a trust me, they'll nail you with us, oh. He said, they'll nail you with us as soon as your veil withers away, right? Yo, that's deep. Um, but I think he was referencing how lyrical uh, Pac was, right? Some would argue that, uh, you know, Pac was a, po a, a very poetic with his words. He actually wrote uh, as well. Um, poems as well. Uh, but uh, listen to what he's saying. In Big Pun, uh, he was Spanish from <clears throat> New York, right? Uh, I think he was a king. Uh, well, it's like Fat Joe, right? Um, but, yo, he was extremely lyrical. He died. He was at over 400 pounds and he was not seven foot nine, <laughs> right? <laughs> he was like five seven. Or king with the cross of Socrates, complete with Pac and Pun and a large degree of. Well, to do spitters, careful they hell who glitters. Oh. They hell who glitters, right? Uh, be careful, right? Uh, maybe because these people are gone, but yo, know, look at what happened to uh, thought leaders uh, for the civil rights movement, right? Or people that were pushing education and knowledge, right? Uh, Marcus Garvey, uh, Tupac, <laughs> right? Martin Luther King Jr., Malcolm X, uh, these leaders that were annihilated, right? Assassinated. Um, because uh, the shine, the you know, the spotlight was on them. Who has veils with a trust me, they'll nail you with a spoon. Yeah, but don't grow weary and well doing. I have on track so they saw my impact the rails cooning. <laughs> union, so I gotta run that in. back. I was stuck. I on track so watching her on the beat, bro. She does that so natural. She is sick with it. They saw my impact the rails cooning. Failed. He said, "My impact the the uh, derails Kunin. Uh, if you don't know, uh, you know about uh, history of uh, Kunin is just acting a fool, basically, right? You just can I dance for you, right? You just act it's just being silly, uh, uh, but it's more than that, right? It's actually being made, made fun of. Like you're not the joke. You're not part of the joke. You are the joke. Um, I have on track so they saw my impact derails Kunin." Failed unions and males who in hell cause they sell ruin to frail humans trailed by the smell omen of death decay and all the still ruin of war decisions. The morgue That's his exhibits those no more with the living. I pray for those who abhor the rhythm of the righteous. I'm a titan with the might just touch straight from side and hope float is blinding when I'm in alignment. I'm in rice and fits when he flying, he let to find it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I should be more grateful. Got it out the mud, no. And it's so beautiful that he does this with his wife, right? And you can imagine when the kids become of age that they're going to be doing this too. Uh, there's just a beauty, you know, he says in one of his songs, he says, yo, if I can't bring my wife and my kids, I'll leave it, right? Like, let me tell you what I'm about, boy. Let me tell you first what I stand for and who I am. Yo, you got to respect that. That's a man, right? but I'm still snapping like a Yo, if I ain't got the key that I'm lock picking, right? I'm getting there one way or another. You gonna do it or I'm gonna do it for myself. I'm gonna do it now. Yeah. But all you have to do is meant for me is if I need to play when I enter the imagery of those in the industry. Said they ain't straight. Yo, bro, this man is the, one of the most lyrical people I've heard. And low key with it, right? You wouldn't understand if you just played this and just heard a little segment. You got to listen to the bars. As he goes, it's just like, man, he refers back to things, double, triple meaning, going in and out, put you on game. Like, yo, this brother is different. Talk about what you talk about. See the boy go in and out. But a pigeon just so they can listen, just a little different when I'm spitting, when I'm spitting. Okay, that's enough of finish. Make it rain. Where the nose goes when the nose closes. 
stay woke. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker, oh, oh, yo, put me on, bro. I want to be in a video too, face, right? Come on, Joe, I know you can. Hook me up, bro. You owe me, bro. That's what happens, right? That's what happens when you work with homies and shit. <laughs> yo, but yo, Toby's sick with it. This is called uh, Spice, featuring Spice Adams. Was that dude at the end? Uh, that's funny. I don't even know who dude is or what his role was in the film. But yo, Toby, again, doesn't disappoint. He's just sick with it, bro. He's just, it's refreshing, right? I feel refreshed after I went through some little Wayne earlier. I went through some other, some Chicago artists. Uh, broke down different lyrics, but there's something different about Toby. The his delivery, the art involved, uh, the people involved with the work, what you know about his movement. I heard him use the term um, edutainer, the mixture of education and entertainer. Yo, just stick with it, man. If you're a fan, don't forget to like and subscribe to the station. Uh, we'll be going over a lot of his work.